how did you all deal with the expectation? I mean, I have a seven and a nine year old Damien has young kids as well. They've never been more excited about a football tournament than yeah. they were. Not at the beginning, but once England were in the quarters, then this, and then suddenly, like England were in a final, like yeah. the whole nation stopped for this game. <laughs> you know what, what was it the, like in the bubble? The whole squad and in the bubble, they were so relaxed. And I remember being like, "Wow, these young players, they just they just seem so relaxed." I'm just going to go out, play football, going to go back to the hotel. We did have our own little bubble. We stayed in the same place. She also liked routine, so there was a time where we were meant to change hotels, and she kept us in right. the same hotel. Because it's not it's not just luck or chance that you were relaxed in a very no. unnatural situation. Yeah. Processes were put in place. I don't know whether she had you looking at your social media or seeing the press or knowing what was going on? Yeah, well, we had, there was a couple of the older players um, who would spoke about what we're going to do about social media because we'd done that in the past. Um, are people going to stay on social media or they're going to come off it? And again, we didn't dictate what you had to do because I think a lot of younger players do rely on it. So to take it away from them might have affected their performance in that <clears> sense because they're used to it every single day. Mm. So we had to meet in the middle. But what we did was we didn't dictate, but look, this is the benefits. Some people told stories of tournaments in the past they'd been to and how social media had affected them. So we give them kind of all these stories and then everyone made their own decision. But um, and yeah. was that player led? Yeah, player led. Totally so, player led. So yeah. Serena didn't ask you to do that. You did. No, we we kind of. I don't know if she maybe said what I were doing about social media, but she totally left it up to the players, wow. and she was like, "If you decide to come off, stay on. It's totally your decision." So that was good. But yeah, the relaxed environment. I remember we just. It was like we kept wi- like we obviously we kept winning, but then when we got to the final, I always remember we said, "Look, we know what we want to do. We want to inspire a nation. We want to get the crowd behind us. We just want to leave women." football in a better place and I remember by that semi-final when we won it I felt like we'd done that the crowds were so supportive even the first day at Old Trafford I felt like you know what we don't have to bang the drum about women and girls playing football it's like we can actually just go out and enjoy this tournament and I feel like that's what happened and going into that final I didn't feel like we were under pressure to win it because I felt like we'd already won in a sense. I'm like, we've got 90,000 people that we've given an opportunity to see an England-Germany final. Yeah, obviously the gold was going to be the icing on the cake, but there was no pressure that day. It, it was weird. I love because that's a brilliant articulation of, you know, when, again, one of, we, it's a regular feature with our guests. We talk about outcome goals, that sense of purpose, performance goals, yeah. how you measure it, and then the process. And what you've described is skipping the performance and going straight to the outcome and going, we've already won, we've yeah. already inspired yeah, and the nation. Serena said that to us because obviously she'd had a lot of success in the past and she said, what does our success look like? And she knew that she couldn't stand there at the beginning of the Euros and say, well, it's only going to be deemed a successful tournament if we get the gold because... And I could say that from my past experiences, I remember Ellen White being half a centimetre offside against America, which stops us going to a World Cup final. And there's so many little bits where you're like, you just can't, you so can't, subjective, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. Like, so, you, so what did she say before so the final? She just said, like, basically about leaving women's game. This was before the tournament, in a better place, getting yeah. the fans behind us. I remember I being like after the first game, interact with the fans, get them. She stopped us after one of our friendly games and said, I didn't really see people clapping the crowd before the game. Um, and she was like, we need to do that more, you know, like get them behind Love us. That. And we'd already always been told, don't play it to the occasion. So really focus when we get out there for the warm up, like you do, really focus, don't acknowledge the crowd till the end of the game. But her spin was, let's get them behind us there, our 12th player. And I remember after the first game being like, Brilliant. oh, we're dancing around, we're doing these laps of the pitch, we're singing, we're dancing. And I'm thinking, it's only the first game and we're getting carried away. But it just worked. The the crowds loved it. Yeah. Can we talk about your role in the final? Yeah. You know, because even (laughs) for you... Swear a bit. (laughs) Well, there is a bit of swearing. Um, But there's big pressure here because you would have known that this is your last tournament for England. You would have known that this has been a a, a stellar career, but without lifting a trophy of this magnitude. Yeah. What were you thinking as you're standing on the side of the pitch getting ready to come on? Particularly with England a goal up, right? You came on at 1-0. Uh, so I, well, I came out, it, it was 1-0 and I got told to warm up. 
and then they scored, didn't they? So I didn't think I was then going to go on because I thought maybe she'll want to bring on like a goal scorer or yeah. something, but I still went on. What was um, her message? So basically, I don't think she actually said anything to us at the side of the pitch because I kind of knew that my job was kind of like just to settle the ship, like in kind of a lot of situations. And I think obviously we're one-one extra time, anything can happen. But yeah, oh, I I felt pressure when I was when I was watching the game. I was the worst person on that subs bench because I was watching that game as an England fan all them years, like Mike Lone against Argentina, like. David Beckham getting sent off that game. Like, I, I'm a massive England fan. Like, I see Gary Neville now, all them games at right back, like, just totally invested. And then it's almost like I had the perfect day because I'm an England fan, so nervous for this final, just wanting to win. And then I get to enter the game. It's like, it's it's a, a weird it's feeling. It's like your FIFA moment again, yeah, right? Yeah, FIFA moment again. I'm like, I'll You're so sub humble, my, it's ridiculous, I'll by the way. Sub, I'll sub myself on in these <laughs> kind of last 30 minutes. But um, I think I knew that the midfield, Kiva Walsh, Georgia Stanway, like they'd played a lot of minutes, a lot of minutes. And I knew kind of, not that they were tiring, because I, I didn't think they were tiring, but I knew they were going to be tired. There was, even if Mo Farrow had been playing, he, w- he would have been tired. So I was like, Jill, just go on, add some legs to the midfield literally put in a lot of running smash people I knew I was going to smash people um, and just kind of break it up and I felt like when I look back on them like 35-40 minutes I I felt like I I did a job and and did well obviously brought a bit of passion which the girls had already Did you have a message as you came on? Did you say anything to anyone? No I don't think I did actually I think Leah always says that I kept turning around going come on girls concentrate concentrate keep your head and then she was like and then you were the one telling everyone to F off on the (laughs) other (laughs) bitch <laughs> but um, yeah, I just remember like having to manage a little bit behind. We kept the ball in the corner for a long time, and I almost there was a moment where. So when it came to the five asides at the end of training, I knew that was never like my thing. I didn't really enjoy the five asides. I'm just going to sit at the back, give the ball to the the creative yeah. players because it's it's not really a game where you can show your running and stuff. And I remember this moment in the final, and the girls have just got the ball in the corner for it must have been about eight nine minutes, like. And I'm watching it and I'm like, this is just like me watching all them five-a-side games <laughs> throughout the Euros. So, yeah, I kind of, I came on, I was I was talking. But again, it goes back to, I, I knew what I could bring to the game. And as soon as I stepped on that pitch, I actually felt like really comfortable. I knew my job and knew what I could bring. And did you, uh, did you, ha- did you ever have a moment where you came out of process to appreciate the magnitude of the outcome of what was going on? <laughs> Not in that moment, not no. them 35 minutes was just total focus on the game, total. But in the tournament, I got to enjoy the occasion a lot more. There was about two games, I think, uh, two games that I didn't come on in and I felt like I could just like, I'd, I probably knew I wasn't going to come on in, in the couple as the game went on and I just, I kept looking around and going, God, look at women's football now. I, d- I did have a few moments. Is that what you were moments. thinking? Yeah, I did. I did. Old Trafford, when I walked out at Old Trafford, I remember we were doing um, a half-time warm-up and I was like, all these people are here for women's football. And it just made us so happy. Yeah, so I did oh, enjoy the occasion a little bit more this tournament. The final whistle goes. Yeah. You've won the Euros. You've done it on home soil. Oh. You've played your part. <laughs> what goes through your mind? I've still got goosebumps now when you say that. I have, literally, when you're telling me. Literally. Yeah. Um, Oh, you know what? I ran straight over to Kiva, who'd been playing obviously centre midfield, and I think I just give her the biggest hug. I thought she was absolutely fantastic throughout the tournament, and I think I just said, "I just love you, thank you so much." And I was like, "Yeah, I can't even put them feelings into words. I really can't." I was like, "Just won the Euros," and I stayed out on that pitch for about two hours after. I was like, "I just don't <laughs> want to leave this moment," but. Yeah, you just you don't want to give cliche answers, but it's like everything that you've ever wanted just happened. But you know what? The biggest thing now is I don't reflect on that moment as much. Like, as I say, I haven't watched the game back, but I'm just so happy that now we have a bit of fight and talk as young girls and like women that, oh, girls can't play football. Well, actually, we're one of, one of you, Rose. And I think them young girls can just step into the school field and they can play with the boys and there'll be girls playing as well and there's just no questions asked and I get so many dads coming up to us and some of them will go can I get a picture for my daughter and the mate will go he hasn't got a daughter but (laughs) there's so many that come up to us and they're like you know what my daughter plays now and they're like I'm going to kill you because I've got to stand on the 
side of the pitch now because I've got my son on the morning and then my daughter on the afternoon. And honestly, it just makes us like so happy. Hey guys, it's Jake here. Listen, before you go, please do me just one favor. Hit subscribe. It makes such a difference to us. The more subscribers we get, then the bigger the channel becomes. The bigger the channel becomes, the bigger the names we can attract and the more impact we can have for you. So thanks for watching and please subscribe right now.